Well, a year after this project started, the frame has changed, the battery box has changed, the motor designs changed, everything has changed. And today arrived the magic silver box with lots of fandango hanging out of it, which I creatively uh, and rather tenuously put together to see if this thing even works because I've not been able to check it and I've had it three weeks. This is a first thoughts, first run on the lightning rods kit. This is the small block 1500 watt version. I'll be running it at probably 48 volts, 35 to 40 amps. Uh, there's the cycle analyst, that's up and running. You've all seen those before, it's the V3. Just a Chinese throttle, some spurious thing to get me going. So, I'm, I don't know where to start with this. Setting this up has been an absolute nightmare. Don't get one of these kits unless you uh, like to spend several hours tinkering. It's an engineer's friend, this one. Um, lining up that chain, getting the tension right, getting the line right between there and the top. It's just been really difficult and I still haven't got it. Uh, the, bar, the belt's now catching on the, uh, on the rim at the other side on the wheel. So, yeah, I've been chasing my tail with this for ages. There's a myriad of adjustments. Sorry, you'll have to put up with the angles because it's right down here, but I don't know if you can see. Yet yeah, we're in. All of these down here are all adjustments to get the tension on this belt, and it's the same on the other side. And then you come up here and there's more adjustments for tension here, and then down inside, just there, you can probably just see that hex, uh, that's a Allen key head. There's two more adjustments down there that shove the motor forward and back. Open your attention. Oh man, man, I was a playing with this thing. Uh, the electronics was a doddle because everything were labelled up. I had to get a bit creative with a connector or two, but the labelling on that was superb. Uh, it's, a, it's a Lion controller. Um, um, got loads of stuff on the back and all just in case it not lined up right, tells you you shouldn't value nice little unit when it came <laughs> um, <clears throat> well I suppose we should run it right so here's the belt side this is at 48 volts or 47.8 volts at the minute no load, there's no drive chain on it or nothing Yeah, that's skipping, that's the belt riding up on the side of the puller because I've moved this this whole drive se section here was too far this way, you can see it, look at the chain line see how it pulls out I'm really struggling getting that to go that way enough so that that lines up true I mean it's, it's, it's almost a chain width out I don't know what I'm going to do um, if I move this whole thing that way, then this catches on the side. I just, yeah, I'm a bit. I may have to put this away for the day. I think it's beat for today. But I've wired it up and it runs and the motor's smooth enough and it chooches along nicely. That's at 48 volts, so there is an option to step that up to 72. The controller will take it uh, 72 volts at about 35 amps again. I'm right on the edge of my motor's capabilities there, though, so the temperature sensor that's fitted, there's the cable for it. Um, just, you know, just manufacturers, why do they do that? Look at the length of the temperature cable and then look at the length of the cable that runs to the... Why, why would you do that? Either give me the cable or just leave me a little inch hanging out. It just... Uh, yeah, so... Thoughts? Well... It's perhaps a bit early to tell, but... I've got to say, my duck's knocked a bit off. I'm not... I'm not as happy as I hoped I would be with this. I've got to say. In current state, I'd have an hard job recommending this kit to anyone, just because it's so difficult to get it together and get it working. 
Um, there are some problems I don't even know how I'm going to get around them at the minute. I'm not exactly sure what I do about that chain line. If there's anything I can do about that chain line, it just something's either something's bent or not right, or I've built it wrong, or something's happening because because that isn't. And then obviously with the pulley skipping on the other side, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, strapping the thing together and putting it on the bike's not that hard. Adjusting all the belts and getting it so that it's sweet is proving to be extremely difficult. Um, still haven't finished the battery box because that keeps breaking because the glue's not holding, so I might have to get that welded. Uh, that's about it, really. Um, sorry, I'm not a bit more energetic. I was hoping I'd be a little bit more buzzing, but it's just fried me melon this one I'm not I don't really know what to make of it to be quite honest uh, perhaps a, a nice cup of tea and an afternoon restorative might aid the proceedings but well there's my first overview and uh, first thoughts on it it's up it's running it works so now it's just trying to get it together and make it sing alright guys Till next time.